Welcome to a video of a program that I've made. This video is the 10th year anniversary of a video that I made 10 years ago. And it was a video of me talking about a control panel that I made to add HD access files to your uh, Apache HT Docs directory. So this is the original program I made 10 years ago. Version 0. Point something, alpha version. And basically all it did, you clicked the activate button and it would install a HDX file to the main directory of your HDX folder. And then if you click this button, it would uh, deactivate it. So anyways, I've been working on this program throughout these past 10 years and it, it's it's grown. It's gotten it's gotten bigger. It's turned into a pretty useful tool for me. I have it when my computer starts up, which my computer very rarely starts up because I very rarely ever shut it down, but when it does start up, this program starts up automatically with it. So, here's the first page. What the fuck is this? It's my Turd Inc. Apache Control Panel version 2.3. We're up to version 2.3. I've made a lot of versions of this. Anyways, as I need certain things, um, I will add them to the program, make a new version. So, here's the original HTDocs thing. And over here I have secret passwords that I can't allow you to see um, but over here is now it's it's a little bit better so you can you can select a different kind of uh, HT uh, access file and you can also select you know maybe a different places where you want to put it you put it there you put it there you can do a custom directory and then um, you can activate it. So let's just throw something in here. So activate. Activated. So now there should be a HT access uh, file. There it is. So now let me just uh, let me put this. Where am I going to put this? Let me put this. Alright. I'll just put it here for now. So now if you click activate again, you get the turtle alert. Okay? Turtle alert. I already activated it. Doesn't need to be activated again. Click OK. And now you can deactivate it. Boom, it disappeared. It's not there anymore. Deactivate again. You want to deactivate it again? No, man, you don't need to. Already deleted. Little turtle alert there. Comes up tells you hey you already did this all right so that's that and we got a little notes section here and uh, not not so much sensitive uh, material here you know little things that maybe I want to check out later little things I don't want to forget like this is my uh, command line for uh, Unreal Tournament if I want to start up my UT server which it's it's running right now that's always running too alright so this is just a little notes area so you maybe you want to uh, type something you know you can you can type in uh, poop you don't want to forget that you gotta poop oh gotta put a little pe another P there you gotta do a poop make sure you remind yourself to do a poop save the changes saved you can delete poop once you took your poop you can delete that. Uh, Excuse me. Save the changes. You already did your poop. So that's cool. Little notes thing. I like I like having I have lots of notes in here. I'm not gonna show you them all because some may be sensitive material. And that's more editing I'd have to do this video. And I hate that. Next, we got probably the, the best part is uh the um, 
a status and control area. So from here we can, um, you know, we got we got the website um, address here. We got it's running on port 80. We got the IP address of the website. Um, you know, current internet status. This tells me if I'm online, um, WAN or LAN. So that would be like, uh, you know, I got my, I got a router plugged into a modem. Boom. Um, if you're plugged directly into a modem, it'll detect that. It'll be like, you know, you're online, WAN only. Um, if you're just connected to a router, it'll detect that. Um, if you're offline, it'll tell you that too. It'll be like, yo, man, you you offline. You can't do anything. Um, so yeah, so we got the IP address of the website, then we got my LAN um, IP address. Uh, this is a transfer rate. So this is something I've been actually working on for a while there. I haven't yet um, dialed it in, I don't think. But I basically use this. It, you know, once I, if, if these numbers start going crazy, I know something's going down. You know, like, especially, like, if the upload is going crazy. Somebody's on my server. Somebody's downloading shit. Things are happening. So, and in that case, I can go here. I can click on uh, this. Boom. It'll pop up uh, the, all the uh, connections that are on port 80, port 443. So, I can see what's going on. See if there's connections that are established, closed, what's happening interesting stuff close that out and then from here we can stop the uh, Apache server we can start the Apache server we can open uh, the HDDocs directory then over here we got uh, PHP info you got your PHP my admin can open up the XAMPP directory over here we got the stop and start MySQL server and you can open the directory and so like any of these like let's say um, you know the servers running and you try to st start the server again <coughs> you guessed it you get a turt alert it's already started it's, it's running you don't need to start it again um so there's that also if for some reason because I actually had this happen to me before I had a directory that was accessible that shouldn't have been accessible and somebody was fucking with me it took me a while to figure out what the fuck was going on well you know all of a sudden I'd be on my computer and my Apache server would be not running I'd be like what the fuck it's not running and um, I'd start it up again an hour later, I check. My Apache server is not running again. What the fuck's going on? So I, I boiled it down to the problem. I found the problem, and I blocked this directory because I had just this was years ago. I had just installed XAMPP, and apparently uh, by default they have some important directory open where somebody can go in and stop your fucking server. <coughs> So I took care of that, but now I also have a, a feature built in where if the server does stop for some reason, it'll detect that. You get a bunch of blinking lights over here, and um, after about a minute or two, it'll automatically restart the server. So that's cool. And finally, you know, we can... Um, start this program with Windows or or not so right now it's currently starting with Windows so yes um, start with Windows so this is already this is blocked out because it's already starting so we can we can tell it no we don't want it to do that anymore and you get an alert hey man are you sure you want to delete up delete that startup registry key you sure you want to do that man and uh, actually, I, d I don't. So I'm glad this this warning came up because I don't want to do that. So I'm going to click cancel. So there's that. And then finally, 
we have like a monitor where I can monitor a directory I'm still working on this too but for now it's set up to where I can monitor a directory to see uh, if if people are if people are downloading stuff or not it'll uh, tell me so every time somebody downloads something I get a little beep and a little message will pop up in this window here and tell me uh, what what happened you know so basically it's not telling me the exact file they're downloading but it's I have a, uh, a I do have a file that keeps track of all of the downloads um, but right now it's just telling me that it changed that file not to, not giving me the actual file they downloaded so but it is I just got to do a couple things do a couple two or three little tweaks you know and um, yeah so like I said this thing's always evolving but this even the way it is now it's still useful because it alerts me that somebody is downloading something so I you know I, I don't have much things in there for people to download so you know I already know basically what they're downloading out of there but eventually I get around to this maybe in another uh, 10 years I will uh, have this fixed so that's it that is my um, Apache uh, control panel I like it it's cool it's been my it's been with me for 10 years so uh, if you want to watch the uh, original video which a lot of people made fun of me for um, I'll leave a link to that in the description behold my greatness activate look an HD access file has appeared in my HD docs folder Wow! <laughs> so, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.